Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel. Today I'm doing paid review 23QB12. 23QB12 quick wristwatch check. And we're in a two tone bluesy submarina. 40 mil blue dial. Love this piece. Okay, let's jump straight in. This is for Nicholas. Hello, Arch. I hope everything is well for you. I'm reaching you for a collection update review four years after the first one. I'm 42 years old and have been collecting watches for 10 years. Here is my current collection with some context about each watch. Number one, we've got a Hoya CS3113 Carrera Re-Edition. It's a new addition to the previous review. Manual chronograph my daily. I like the look and the size is okay with my small wrist. It has the same movement as the Speedmaster Pro, which is a Lamania based movement. Next piece, we've got a Rolex, 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 Rolex Submarina. Date 16610. New edition, a classic. I prefer the old case because it looks less massive than the ceramic. Or we ceramic 40 mil, which is like my 40 mil, or the new 41 mil. The bracelet is not great though, as I usually wear it on a rubber bee bracelet, rubber bee strap. Next piece, number three, Grand Seiko SBGA211. Love the spring drive movement and the looks of the dial. Then we've got a Rolex Yachtmeister 116622 Rhodium, a dressed up Submariner. I like the colors and the blue second hand. Then we've got, we've got some, something I really think is garbage. We've got a, it's pronounced Pekini, by the way, Pekini Rue Royal Moonface. I don't know, I know you don't like the brand, but this is a special piece for me, so it's a keeper. If you dig a bit deeper, I think you'll find the movement quite interesting, and I don't care if it loses a bit of value, as I won't be selling it. Ooh, this is dog turd, dog turd, dog turd. It's just, it's, and it's French dog turd. Poodle shit, that's what it is. I. Don't know why you'd, you'd honestly try and sneak this into a decent collection. Then we've got a Hoya CAW211P, the McQueen. I had to have a square watch. I think this one is one of the best for me, although a bit heavy and big. Yes, it is 39 mils. The interesting thing is the first series was 38 mils when they originally released it, but they made it bigger. And because it's a square, it wears like a 42 mil. i got to be totally honest with you. Um, this would be the first one to leave the... Oh, oh he says, he says, uh, he had to have a square watch. I think this one is best for me, although a bit heavy and big. This would be the first one to leave if he wanted to sell something off. What do you think of the collection? Anything missing? Very good question there indeed. So what do I think? I like the two Hoyas. We've got a Hoya uh, CS Carrera 33113. Cool. It's a manual chronograph. We got the we got the Steve McQueen. The Steve McQueen. Uh, yes, I I actually quite like that. So the two Hoyas are okay. I love the Rolex, Rolex Sub and a Rolex Yachtmaster. I uh, two Hoyas, two Rolex. I like the Grand Seiko. I don't like the Pekini. Pekini. You know what? Get rid of it. It's garbage. I mean, nobody's gonna really, 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 really want that thing. So, uh, what do I think of the collection? I like it, but I would get rid of the Pekini. The Dicky Knee needs to go. It needs to go. It's not really great now we're looking at a collection anything missing so what do we got here so what have we got we have got in this collection we got two chronographs we got two dive watches and we've got in the grand seiko we've got like a a, a great a bit of a dressy watch there a bit of overlap there 
Um, 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 um. <clears throat> what do I think is missing? We need to add a GMT. We need to add a GMT. That's what we need to add is a GMT. Uh, now he goes, I recently looked at the IWC releases at Watches and Wonder 2023 and really like the new engine newer in titanium. I know the price is a bit hefty, but do you think this could be a nice addition to the collection? Sending you 80 US dollars for the hard work regards, Nicholas. Nicholas, 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 I got to tell you something. I would be looking for value, value. I like value, value, value pieces. And I try and give advice, try and give advice so that somebody can buy pieces and that adds value to the collection. And if, God forbid, they needed to sell a piece, they could get most of their money back. Now, i got to be honest with you, that new engineer, the engineer, is actually pretty damn cool. However, I don't know if I'd be recommending that. It's flavor of the month. It's cool. I get it. I get it. I'd be saying to you, man, why don't you add something iconic and Rolex. I'd be adding a Rolex Explorer 2. That's what I would add. A Rolex Explorer 2 16570. They're a vintage. Vintage. I'd go, instead of going for the 42 mil, I'd go for the 40. Because you said you like the... 16610 sub marina which is the 40 mil sub i'd be getting the same um explorer 2 that would be a great way to go you could also add instead of that a 40 mil coke or a pepsi pre ceramic they're good buying however they're going to be more expensive so what i would do is i would des i would say Instead of, I mean, the IWC, you're not going to, it's just, it's just, they're not going to, it's just going to be flavor of the month. You're going to pay a premium. That ain't the way I'd go. I would seriously say to you, get the Explorer 2, enjoy that watch, love that watch. And that's what I would seriously do. Seriously. Don't worry about adding. See, when you add trendy new pieces... You're going to do your ass. Okay, you want to add something that is going to hold. It's already had... See, I think the Explorer 2, 40 mil, 16570, you can get some beautiful pieces. You could you could go for a holes case, a no holes case, solid end link. You could do so many things there. That's where I'd be going. Polar or black, I don't think it really matters. I'd just... That's what I would be doing. I wouldn't be adding trendy new shit. That's for rich fikers to do. Rich fikers. That's what they do. They add the new stuff when it comes out. But for you and your collection, I'd be doing it sensible. You want to add value. You've already made a mistake with the Dicky Knee. Uh, I, you know, that watch does less than nothing for me. I don't like the styling. It, it, uh, just, it's, it's a nothing. It's, it's just, it's, it's, don't do that. Don't do that. IWC, I like IWC, but you got to buy it pre-owned. IWC, a lot of the IWCs, you know, they, they're, 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 it's a tricky thing. I had the 3227, the Ingenua 3227. I love, very top-heavy watch. I loved it. I love that watch, but I bought it pre-owned. That's what you got to do with IWC. You don't buy that shit new, especially the new Watches and Wonders, you know, that's not what I... I want to recommend value. I want you to get value so you can ride this collection. Now, you've you've got some Hoyas there. I don't mind the Hoyas. I like the Rolex. I don't even mind the Grand Seiko. But I don't like the 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 uh, uh, Peaky Knee. Get rid of that. And I would say add an Explorer 2. Can you go wrong with an Explorer 2? Polar or black, doesn't matter. Get a good deal. I would go for the one that's cheaper. At the moment, black is cheaper in the Explorer 2. And I'd probably go black in the Explorer 2. Because I, the only reason I went for the Polar, the white one, was they were, they were cheaper. And I thought, hey, this is good value. Um, that's, that's, that was the, the reason behind it. But for you, get the value. Value is so important. Because fashion is fickle. It changes. 
what sort of happened with the Explorer 2 was the black dial Daytona was always slightly more on the secondary market than the white dial. Then they released the Panda and it switched. That's what happened. So I'd capitalize on that. That's what, I, what I'd be doing. So, yeah, great collection. I like the Hoyas. I like the existing two Rolex. I like the Grand Seiko. Add another Rolex. You want to add value. If you're going to spend the bucks, don't, don't be buying watches and wonders. That's for rich people to do. Don't do that. Add Rolex value, and you will never be disappointed. That's honestly what you should do. Okay, guys, I'm Archie Luxury. That's the review for today. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, put some comments below, and remember, I can't survive on Google Ads alone. Paid reviews keep me full-time on YouTube. Without paid reviews, it's hard to survive. It's hard to survive. So, guys, get a paid review, and I look down below in the description, and I will see you in the next one. Hi, guys. It's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the YouTube sensation, the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I need you to help me out, guys. I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need you to request a paid review. 50 US dollars, look down in the description. 50 US dollars, we, I will review your collection. I'll tell you what I think of it and I'll give you some pointers. The other thing is, guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a couple bucks a month, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you want. And it keeps me going on YouTube because, guys, I'm in a niche. Nobody can make money out of the views I get. The views are crap because it's a small, specialized area. And I don't talk about garbage for the sake of views. Guys, sponsor me on Patreon. Look down below and I will see you in the next one. Yeah.